Well, hello, my lovelies. Right, OK, so I was tidying up my desk and I was collecting all of my little pieces that I've cut out. And then I discovered we have these I've cut out with the diorama dies. And then obviously I've used the card that I've cut the hole out of. Um, and then I have random pieces. And I came across a few of these, which are the stitched rectangles. But they're the centres. And obviously I've used the card as a window card or something. So I just, I've just i been trying to work out what I can do with these bits. And I thought, you know what? We're just gonna We're just going to go for it. So I, what I've done is I've looked at the stamp sets I've got, which you can do, and then I've picked out things like, um, oh, sorry, knocking the camera. So I've picked out Season's Blessings, but only because I like this one just here. And then this one just for this one, the Ranunculus Romance for this piece. And then this one is perfect because it's got lots of little like meadow style stamps which is what I'm wanting to go for here so I've picked out a few colours I've got garden green granny apple and old olive as my greens I do have mint macaron but I'm not sure if I'm going to use it but I also have mango melody and I will be using a couple of alcohol um, the stamp and blends as well so let's get started. I'm going to start with the with the granny apple green. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab, was it that one I did? That one's this one. So this is the larger of the two bunches with the flowers. And I am just going to use my granny apple green. Excuse my scrap paper underneath. And I'm just going to go across and just add I'm trying to get them different heights uh, there so that's just like a background one that will do for that one so what I do when I'm stamping and then I I will give them a quick wipe and I'll stick them on top of the box they came out of so I know where they're going to go back into and then if this starts happening when you're using your stamps they just start sliding off that means that they they need a clean so what I generally do is I get obviously not this one it's got a Barbie shoe and stuff in it get an empty one of these and I just put some soapy water in the bottom just a little tiny bit of soap and I just give them all a nice bath and then they stick and they become sticky all over again so that's what I will be doing with these later so I'm just going to grab the smaller of the two bunches and I'm going to change to Old Olive and then I am going to do the same again and this time just stamping off like so So we'll give it a quick wipe, put it on the top, then I'm going to grab just the little blades of grass this time and my smallest block. It's so cute. But this time I'm going to use the garden green. I have chosen some DSP that this will go nicely with. And then all I'm doing is going across, I'm doing two generations of stamping just to fill in the areas that are looking a bit sparse to make it all fit and there we go okay so then I've got to add a taller piece so we are going to find the Ranunculus Romance. I love this stamp set and dies. I have my dies in with my stamps so I know where they are. I'm just going to get my bigger block. And for this one, I'm going to colour it in... Which one shall we use? I think we'll go with Garden Green. 
because I want it to be darker but I'm only putting two and actually I think I might do that stamped off and then so that one will go on there and then the last stamp set is Season's Blessings, but it is only, um, if I can guess them out, this one and this flower. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm not going to use the flower, that's it. I'm just going to use the stem. And you'll see why in a second. That's a rather large block for such a small flower now you can if you want to with these you can straighten them off or you can t tilt them to the other way so you can make it look like you know you've got numerous stamps that go in all sorts of directions so this one I'm going to get my garden green and I'm only going to I'm only going to fill from the top because normally what would happen is you would stamp this this flower here and then this would be the stem of that flower. So the whole thing would be green because it would be the leaves going up underneath. Or the... I can't remember what they call it. Anyway, so I'm not going to do that. I'm turning this into its own flower. So I'm going to stamp it up. Load up the ink, but only the stem, not the flower. And then I am going to just add it in, in a couple of places making sure that it's not floating. So if I want to go higher, I go up a stem that's near it so it doesn't look like it's coming from absolutely nowhere. You can also join it to the one you've already stamped, like that. So I just want one there because I don't want it to look too uniform. Now that doesn't matter because when you stamp the colour over the top, it'll just give it a bit more definition. So I'm just going to clean that off because we still need to use it. Check it's clean. I need to clean my chamois. Okay. So now I'm going to get my Mango Melody. And I apologise if you can hear the squeak in, but oh my goodness. When I open my stamp, it makes a very squeaky noise. And I am just going to add on. And where I've done a second generation stamp, I am then doing the second generation stamp of the Mango Melody. There we go. So it adds a little bit of interest. And then all I'm doing is adding some right down in the bottom, second generation and even third, just down there, just to sort of even it out. So it doesn't look mishmash. <laughs> okay, so, well, I'm glad I'm doing this today because the weather is awful. They warned us of a storm for Friday and actually Friday wasn't too bad. Today on the other hand is pretty rough. <laughs> so we don't need to do any more stamping at the minute. So what I'm going to do now is just going to fill in a few little flowers. So I'm going to take the light balmy blue and I'm just going to quickly fill in the flowers here and and you can literally just sort of scribble in them because it, when it dries it kind of evens it out okay and then for the other ones I am going to use light fresh freesia You could stamp the um, the flowers in um, a lighter colour so that you can then 
not have a green outline on your flowers like this but I think it looks fine as like that oh and I've forgotten a bit on there so you know just keep your pens by you and then you can go back over and just fill in colours if you find colours you've missed then I'm going to take my light granny apple green and where I've got leaves that are open I'm just going to fill them in I think that will do nicely and then you can if you want to just add a very sort of rough really line across the bottom just to it kind of grounds your colours you could use a blending brush as well and go along so that is that. Then I'm just going to take, so I've used three colours, and then I'm going to take my So Saffron, small end, and I'm just going to add just a little dot in the cent where the centres would be on my flowers. And you don't have to do it on all of them. You just, just go with what you feel, to be honest. So then you have like a little nice stamped set. It doesn't take very long at all. How long has this been going? 11 minutes and we chatted a little bit in that time. So then I'm going to take, uh, let's have a look. So we'll just put, thank you for sharing your heart. I think that would look quite nice. Just in the center of there. Oh no, maybe not. Actually, do you know what? No, because I think this one calls for a, a long sen uh, sentiment rather than a gathered. So we're just going to put just for you because you, that could cover lots of different things, couldn't it? So I'm going to pick out the garden green because that is my darkest colour in my stamping and it's also going to be a color of my dsp so if you pick out your darkest color and use it you know throughout everything you do on your card it will it will fit so then we are going to get now i haven't cut the dsp so i'll do that with you now so i've chosen this dsp and then i've chosen a um, Mango Melody card stop base. I think it's don't hold me to that it might be wrong but I think pretty much you could put any yellow or orange with this and it would go with that Mango Melody there so I'm just going to score this because I haven't done that yet and check that it's the right length which it isn't because <laughs> terrible we always make one card base at a time and then just put the other piece that's left over in a box because you know that's how I roll <laughs> now if you didn't want to add DSP you could just mount that onto there like so and that would be acceptable but I like to be uh, I like to add a bit more depth to it so I want the print to go that way because that is the direction of the thing so we're going to cut this at 10 trim that off and then by 14 so my card bases are usually 10 and a half by 14 and a half um, just for ease really but you can make it to whatever size you would that you normally do and and however much of a space around you normally do so I'm just gonna do that to hold it down get my glue oh I love the back ends of these oh I have another card in my little head that I'd like to do with these it keeps popping up every time I look at this wood like wood cladding wood it could be a wooden floor could be anything couldn't it I always think of a card and I've not made it yet so that'll be another video <laughs> so there we go to so place that on there then this is going to go on here but I think we will put that up onto dimensionals so let's just grab 
some dimension gnarlies, as Mary Deathering likes to say. I absolutely adore watching Stamps and Lingers. She makes me giggle. I have caught on to a few words that she says that out of force of habit now I use the words. So it's all your fault, Mary, if you ever watch one of my videos. <laughs> right, and then we'll have a couple in the middle. Just, oh, maybe not off that sheet because I've run out on there. But it's okay because we have more. There's always more. There we go. Right. So, peel the backing off. If you didn't want to add depth to the card for posting, because sometimes in some areas you have to pay extra if you make your card more 3D, you can just glue it on. And it would still look pretty awesome. So, I'm just going to gently put this down. So I can get it straight. And now I'm thinking maybe some gems. Oh, okay. Let's have a look what we've got. Put that in there to clean it. Okay, so I know we have some yellow here. Oh, I'm getting pretty low on my on my gems. Oh, gonna have to place an order. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Okay, so grabbing some of these I wonder if maybe oh upside down nope don't like that so we're gonna put one if it will behave will that look all right there maybe or should we just go one here one here and then maybe a big one uh, there. Just a few little gems just to sort of finish it off. So that's the outside. We'll just see if we can find a piece of scrap card for the inside of the card. Now I don't, I won't stamp a sentiment on this yet because a just for you card could be for anything. Sending you a hug. It could be a happy birthday, um, it could be just saying hello, it could be anything. So I like to put the piece in because they're generally flat, although is that... Okay, so if, you, if you're like me and you don't like to waste cardstock, now this is smaller than I would normally do, so all I'm going to do is make it slightly narrower than what I normally do to make it match, so it's a full half a centimetre all the way around instead of just a quarter but it still works and you've still got plenty of room to stamp so I'm going to hold on that might be enough actually oh hang on we don't need to use any more of my lovely DSP so we can open the card and we can add that onto there and then I will trim off the excess little piece like so I nearly put it on upside down because there is a you know there is a direction to these leaves I thought it was non-directional but it is directional so you know right so checking I've got it straight all the way down and then finding the snip snips and trim off the little tiny piece and then I'm just going to add this into my card like so and then just giving it an even border all the way around by my better eye <laughs> like so so then, you know, you could add, let's have a look, so you could add just one flower. Um, but this time, I always seem to, I like to stamp off when I do it inside a card. So just one 
like that and that will do very nicely and actually could even do that so then you have a little floral inside your sentiment can still fit in the middle and there you go so what to do with your pieces that you cut out of the middle it could be a circle I mean you can even do it with with this as well so what you could do is stamp the flowers the same so you're literally just going across here you stamp it as if you're so what I would do is line this up on my mat like so and then I would stamp from this bit here up so it looks like it's still there you basically it looks like you've cut that shape then out of this so you've still got a sort of shape to it and then you could mount that on the say on a similar background and it would look awesome um, the other thing you could do as well is if you were to stamp on this one, you could then use, you know, because I've got quite a few of these in different sizes, find a bigger size, blend around the edges in a colour that you stamped your flowers, and then that could be a layer to your shape. So there we go. So I hope that was helpful and you got some good hints and tips from that. And I am... Um, very thankful that you are here watching and if there are any questions or if there is a technique or and even if I haven't tried it before I am always willing to give um, new techniques a try and and if I haven't tried it then you know I'm more than happy because I love new techniques so there we go thank you so much for watching and um, all the links that you need are down below for my shop for um, um, hopefully I will be able to put the link to a Facebook page that I will put um, a post up with all the sizes of these but like I said this piece here is a scrap so or you can cut it out and make it anyway because you know why not <laughs> right thank you so much for watching lots of love to everybody goodbye